Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another Victober video. Today I'm going to be talking about some great Victorian books that deal really interestingly with the theme of class. So I did already make another video talking about great Victorian books to read if you're interested in gender and I'll link that down below. Some of the books on that list are the same as some of the books on this because they are really good books that deal with both class and gender in an interesting way. But I do have 13 books to talk to you about today so let's get straight into them. I will start again with the Dickens. One of the things I think that Charles Dickens does so well in his books is look at issues of social mobility and kind of class displacement, taking characters who are born into one class and putting them into another class and kind of seeing what happens. One of his books is very interesting in terms of this is of course Great Expectations which follows Pip. He is brought up by his sister and her husband who is a blacksmith and he is apprenticed to be a blacksmith himself until one day he is told that he has great expectations and is going to be a gentleman and everything goes on from there. And this book is really interesting in terms of class and social mobility partly because we get to see what happens when Pip is put into the class that he was not born in and how he reacts to that and also the way that he treats his working class friends from back home. It becomes very very ashamed of the background that he comes from and of his home home and of his working class origins. The book is also very interesting in terms of looking at class versus money and whether being rich and having money really makes you upper or middle class or whether actually class is something much more complicated and to do with culture and your upbringing and your education and so many other things. All in all, Great Expectations is well worth a read if you're interested in class in Victorian literature. Another interesting book in which Dickens takes working class characters out of the class they have spent most of their life in and puts them in a different class is his book Our Mutual Friend, which I love very, very highly. This book effectively follows the trajectory of this great fortune which is left behind by a man called Mr Harmon who made his money in rubbish and dust. His son coming back to England to claim the inheritance is found murdered and then after that the fortune goes to a couple called the Boffins who worked in the dust mounds that Mr Harmon kept and who are from a very working class background Mr Boffin can't read at all and they are a really interesting pair in terms of looking at class and the way it operates in the Victorian period because suddenly they are the richest people in town but also they don't know how to read and a lot of people find them quite vulgar but they're so rich that everyone kind of invites them anyway. Another thing that I find quite interesting in this book is that all of the kind of class ideals are kind of dismantled and presented as being rotten. Everyone in the upper class society dinners are all pretending and lying all the time. The middle class domestic family in here, the Wilfers, they're all actually really really unhappy and the mother and father hate each other and have a horrible marriage and our middle class respectable school teacher is proven to be anything but respectable and it's actually lower class characters like Lizzie Hexham and Jenny Wren who are shown to be what they say they are and much more moral than the middle and upper classes. This book also deals interestingly with love and relationships across class barriers and what that can mean and is all in all a very interesting book in terms of class. Another interesting book in terms of class in the Victorian period is David Copperfield and this is chiefly interesting I think in the way that it explores what it means to be a middle class man. David Copperfield on this book basically goes on a journey from middle class to lower class to middle class again and the book is kind of a coming of age story in many ways, a building's romance but also a book about coming into the middle class and adapting into that social position and coming to keep yourself and kind of be respectable and earn a living and a lot of David Copperfield's struggles in life are to take himself out of the working class environment he finds himself at one point in the book and bring himself back into the respectable middle classes. That is something that's certainly very interesting in this book and I do find Dickens's exploration of social mobility throughout his books really really interesting because David does really really move up and down quite a lot in class throughout this book and it's well worth a read. Next I want to mention the wonderful Jane Eyre. This is well well worth a read and very interesting in terms of class. Jane Eyre throughout this book occupies a kind of unclear class position when she lives with her wealthy cousins at the start of the book she is neither one of the family but she's also above the servants and so she doesn't really have anyone who is on an equal footing with her and then when she goes on to become a governess in Mr Rochester's house she also occupies a weird social position as governesses always did because governesses were below the position of the masters and mistresses but they were also above the servants but governesses were also the social inferiors of the children they taught but also had to exercise control over them. The governesses had a very really weird position within Victorian society and I think Jane Eyre explores this quite well. It's also very interesting in terms of looking at the class difference between Jane and Mr Rochester and the way that Jane feels about that and also how that kind of shifts over the course of the book especially considering the ending. Another Victorian book that deals interestingly with the position of the governess within Victorian society is Anne Bronte's Agnes 
Agnes Grey. Agnes Grey is the daughter of a clergyman. She goes out to be a governess and she is treated quite badly by the family she ends up with. The children she teaches tend to either view her as someone that they can despise and treat as a plaything or someone who they can tell things to but isn't really a real person and no one treats her like she really exists because she is just on unequal footing with everyone. It's a really interesting book in terms of looking at governesses and the way they kind of exist outside of the class system and the loneliness that can bring. And then the book that is really interesting in terms of its presentation of class conflict and especially the conflict between masters and workers in mills is North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. This is a brilliant book and really interestingly explores class conflict and the dangers that can bring in a fictional industrial town called Milton in the Victorian period. It looks very interestingly at the kind of battle and conflict between masters and men and also examines industrial disputes such as strikes and what they can do and the way that each side in this book really do view it as a kind of war but also it's very interesting over the course of the book how masters and men or at least one master and one man come to have a sort of greater understanding of each other partly through the central character Margaret. I think this is a really good book and I highly recommend it. Another very interesting Elizabeth Gaskell novel in terms of class is Mary Barton which also explores class and class conflict and industrialization in a, the town of Manchester in the Victorian period. It's also really interesting in terms of examining the living conditions of many people who were factory workers in Manchester and how appalling some of their living conditions sometimes could be. And I'd also highly, highly recommend The Netherworld by George Gissing. This is a brilliant book which examines the lives of the London poor in the 1880s, specifically in the slums of Clerkenwell. It's not a happy book, but it's very, very interesting in terms of people who are very much in the working classes or the lower working classes, even beneath that at times people who are really at the bottom of the class pecking order and who struggle very severely because of it and how there is no one to help them and also the way that people from the middle classes try to help them isn't necessarily the right way. It's a really really interesting book, very interesting in terms of examining class pride and sort of working class respectability as well as its wonderful characterization and the oppression which many of these characters feel because of the class that they were born in. Another book I would highly recommend that deals with class in a really interesting way is Anthony Trollope's The Way We Live Now. This is a book that is in a way more about money than class but it does deal very interestingly with the way that class and money interact and the way that they are not always the same thing. But the more money you have doesn't assure you have a higher class and that the higher class you are really doesn't necessarily mean you have very much money. There is also a lot in the way we live now about kind of old money versus new money. The fact that you may be a baronet but have absolutely no money and next door there may be a businessman who has very very dubious origins but a huge fortune and what that means for society and the way that that changes British society at this time. It's a really brilliant book and very very interesting and one I would highly recommend. Another book that's very interesting in terms of class is Jude the Obscure by Thomas Hardy, a book I really really love. Jude is from a working class background, he is a stonemason but all he really really wants to do with his life is to go to university and study the classics because he loves Greek and Latin and he wants to be a scholar. Unfortunately Jude always finds for him that the way is barred because he does not have the money and the birth and the social background behind him to get into a university. He cannot follow the life he wants to lead despite the fact that he is probably more intelligent and more able than a lot of people who are able to follow that life and the book really interestingly explores how this works against Jude throughout his life and how he is oppressed by his class background and the lack of available social mobility in the world he lives in. Another book I would recommend is Sybil or the Two Nations by Benjamin Disraeli. Benjamin Disraeli is a fascinating author. He was also the Prime Minister which makes me happy because I feel like in no other age but the Victorian period would a novelist become a Prime Minister. Sybil is an industrial novel but also looks very closely at class in the Victorian period. It's called Sybil or the Two Nations and the Two Nations refers to the rich and the poor. A lot of the book is about class conflict and the dangers of class conflict in the Victorian period and how little people from different classes tend to understand each other at this time. An interesting book and definitely worth a read. I think it is a bit more simplistic than something like North and South and there is a bit of a kind of idealisation of the poor as being naturally more moral because they are poor which is a bit dubious but I do think it's still a really interesting read and one I would recommend. And the final book I want to talk about is Geraldine Dewsbury, The Half Sisters. I did also mention this in my gender video as it's fascinating from a gender perspective perspective as well. But one of the things I really think is brilliant about this book is the way it explores class and respectability. The book follows two half-sisters, one Alice, one Bianca, who have the same father but very different mothers. Alice is middle class and becomes a housewife. Bianca is working class and becomes an actress, which is pretty much very, very far down society in the Victorian period. The book is fascinating in terms of exploring their different lives and comparing the different ways in which Bianca and Alice live and the ways in which their class affect the lives they live. And it's also really interesting in terms of just like completely 
completely dismantling the middle class ideal of the angel in the house and just like middle class ideals in general. Half Sisters is a really really brilliant book, so complicated and so fascinating in its themes and one I would highly recommend. Those are the 12 books I would recommend if you're interested in reading about class in Victorian literature. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other suggestions for books that deal with class in the Victorian period in a really interesting way and I'll be back soon with another bookish video.